In The Witcher 3, you play as the legendary Witcher Geralt of Rivia. In the world of The Witcher, there's lots of different factions, races, and also minorities. And together with a huge and diverse landscape, it creates this vibrant open world experience. Witchers are outcasts. Uh, they're mutants, itinerant monster hunters who roam the world, hunting down and killing monsters, often for meager pay. Children destined to be witchers are taken from their parents and enter witcher schools. And the training there is grueling. And it ends with a series of mutations that impart the special abilities, the accelerated reflexes, that render witchers uniquely suited to hunting down and killing monsters. Geralt has never been just a monster slayer. Kings and sorceresses have noticed his talents and tried to use them to their own ends. But Geralt is now tired of politics and he has his own goal, his own agenda. It takes him to travel to the furthest corners of this vast world. At the same time, Geralt works as a witcher. Tough hunt. Tougher than yours, that's certain. Monsters within the world are blend from legends. Norse, Western, Slavic. However, Slavic lore seems to be the most overriding. It's from Slavic lore that we drew the notion monsters are the equal participants of the ecosystem and not always pose a threat. Creatures are very much part of the landscape, just as humans and the other races, elves, dwarves, and whatnot are. And that means that in The Witcher 3, adventure is always around the corner. Well, the world of The Witcher 3 is actually 35 times bigger than the one presented in The Witcher 2. And has a huge diversity of different areas. You have the swampy, murky place of no man's land where there's a danger around every corner, to the harsh climate of the Skellig Islands, where there's a strong and proud people living there. And also you have the, we have the metropolitan of the north called Novigrad. And it's, it's a huge city, it's beautiful. It's like medieval Amsterdam, but it's also a different kind of danger lurking there, a much more cloak and dagger. What distinguishes the world of The Witcher is that it takes things fantastic and it grounds them, renders them believable, places them in mature context. The Witcher universe is a grim place, but even Geralt needs a break from killing ghouls and graveyers, be it to grab pints and exchange jokes with his friends, or to follow one of his love interests. And it's these lighter moments, many and varied, that render Geralt's life believable, immersive, and constitute a break from what would otherwise be all-pervading doom and gloom. One of the most fearsome enemies you'll face is the Wild Hunt, a cavalcade of ghastly specters which rides down from the night sky, bringing war and destruction. Based on European legends and folklore, the Wild Hunt is also an inherent part of the Witcher universe, so it's not just a random boss we pull out of a hat and place at the end of the corridor. In The Witcher 3, the Wild Hunt will take center stage and come right at you. It's as much the stuff of fairy tales that children tell each other as it is a force that comes in the night, in the deep of winter, to annihilate an entire village. <laughs> 